This is the final painting of the ginger and in previous posts I showed that I had a bit of an issue with the composition and the two flower heads looked as if one grew out of the other and so by adding the stems in very clearly it separated them and by keeping them strong over the top of the corn with the corn very pale here to send it into the into the distance and then it showed the difference between the scale so these flowers were times four and the reference came from different areas so some came from the Auckland domain where it flowered for the first time uh, in lockdown and so nobody saw it but I was sent the reference uh, and then up here with those lovely red bracts which were from Fiji I saw when we lived there, but it never flowered for me. And then over here was some reference that was sent from a friend of mine, Alison, in Darwin when she grew it on, so that was super helpful. And then I grew this on from the corn, and but it never flowered. But what I really loved about this is how the, the apex of the leaf, they're all tucked into the one underneath, and I just thought that was rather cute how they're all holding hands, and then they gradually unfurl. And then down to the base, to the, the ginger corn, the edible part of the ginger, which was all fun with all the gnarly bits and roots and then these little new, new growths that come and turn into, into stems that develop eventually into flowers. So this is the final painting of the ginger. It's a little bit more unusual, but different. Here we go, the final painting of edible ginger.